So, here we are again. This is about where we left off. We had just logged in and we navigated to Crystal. And we're going to pick out a patient. And this is how you do it. Um, where is that one we want? Aha! Uh -huh. So, you pick out your patient here and you can either double click it or hit finish. And it'll take a little while. It's not a super efficient program, but you know, we kind of no, we don't love it. Um, and this is how it fires up. It goes to the first epic. Um, the video is there, and the um, which I like to get out of the way as soon as possible. You can always click it back up. It doesn't actually go away when you exit out. <coughs> the um, get this out of the way, and then. Um, so, what I like to do first is to go to the summary. Now, this is one hour's worth of hypnogram. Might as well just look at the whole study. And um, there. And that's that. And this patient was obviously very, obvi uh, obviously very sick. And we applied CPAP here. And she had better. Except for our, I wonder what this was. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so there's some things you can do here, like um, if you were to select it like that. So I, let's select, whoops, don't want to do that. Select it up here. So you get little um, indices for that specific little area. Um, or if you want to look at this area, you get different numbers, 51.83 index. That's clever. That's something uh, Shelley found out. Anyway, the la la. Okay, so anyway, if you click here, that's where you will wind up during the page, but during the 30 second view. Um, so just to navigate in general, um, what we're going to do is. Uh, to select one of these channels, you can right click and auto scale just that channel, or you can auto scale all of them. And that was just atrocious. It didn't work out well for anyone. Um, navigate backwards and forwards with these things, or you can go page up and page down. So here's the thing about the auto scale it goes along the biggest signal. So if you have like some spurious signals here, and everything else is okay, it'll auto scale to the biggest signal. And like it did here, it mushed everything else down. To get back to where you want to be, just go to an epic where everything is kind of even and then auto scale again. A little bit better. Um, so, um, the other thing you can do with a right click is auto center. That can be helpful. Uh, especially if you want to get the body position uh, centered. I don't know why it goes off kilter every now and then, the different channels, but it does. I wouldn't have written it that way, and I didn't. Anyway, um, let's see. So, to score things, it's just click and drag. Um, let's go out to like uh, two minutes. This person's, person's really, really easy to score. Um, let's navigate around a little bit. Let's go back to 30 seconds. And this green one is 221. This is 220, and this is 221, and so forth. Um, this one is the one you're looking at, and you can go for that way and for that way. Um, it works similarly at different scales. Uh, so we switch out the four minutes, and this this is now the corner one, and it's just a play with the kind of thing. Um, it's not super important, but that's how you can navigate a different way. Um, the individual channels can be um, you can play around with the stuff while you want to. I don't like to. Um, here's the only thing that probably will be of sort of use is the uh, if you right click on something and you hit properties um, 
that's nice because you can do things like um, let's auto scale all. Let's say you need to invert the EKG. Go to properties, hit invert. Um, you can make sure your filters are good. You can, do you want to put the data labels up there? Probably not. They're meaningless there. Um, you can do all sorts of things. You can change the color and so on. This is less useful. It's not super intuitive, um, but you can do things like that. If you ever want to, by the way, um, score something, you have to click on that button, and that will allow you to, oops, my bad, that is the measurement button. This is the scoring button. Um, and if you want to just measure the waveform, you click that one, and it will tell you all sorts of data, um, how long it is, maximum value, minimum value, uh, amplitude, things like that. Uh, so if you wanted to like figure out if it was really delta sleep or not, you could do it that way. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the scoring people don't score enough arousals, and I don't like that. Um, I should just think about that. Anyway, um, so what else? What else? What else? Uh, double click on this and then uh, pick out the scale you want. Everything else is, if you double click, it's, it's the same thing as a right click on all the other ones. Um, so, let's say, okay, what does this do? This puts the thing in the center. This centers this button right here. Let's say the epic is kind of in the middle. It's going to stick that right on the edge. This one goes to the very end, useless. This one goes to the very beginning, useless. Um, you can have use for it. Um, so other than that, these buttons go one page at a time, forward and backwards. Same thing for if you are on a two-minute screen. So you will go one page, one viewing page. So from three, four, five, six, you're going to go to seven. Simple as pie. Um, look at that bad eye. Um, auto scale. Cleans it up a little bit. Um, so, to what is this? Signal edit mode. That is never going to be used. Um, scoring mode, that's good. Here is the hypnogram as far as the immediate above. You know, um, this is a two hour scale. You can change it to three hours um, by going like this. And it's just the hypnogram. Um, Get rid of it that way. So these are just toggles. Click once, they come on. Click another one, they go away. This toggle is for these events. Um, you're not going to use any of those. Um, that's for the scoring people or the acquisition tech to mark lights on and lights off. Here's the BioCal grid or whatever this is. Um, so you won't use that either. This is the event list. You will use this in all likelihood. Um, so basically it starts out the default sorting is by epic um, slash time and so here's where the um, biocals were. Eyes closed, eyes open, look left, etc. So if you just want to like start scoring, uh, look at the biocals, get a baseline for you know what the signal is supposed to be. Um, that's where you will go. Um, and right after Biocals almost always is lights out. Double click on that and you go to lights out. And so let's go to 30 seconds. I know I'm going to, I'm kind of going all over the place, um, but it's kind of a free form thing, program, scoring idea anyway. Um, so one of the things, uh, this is the first unscored, last unscored um, epic. This is the first scored epic. And one of the nice things you can have is, um, where is it? View. View the show stage. And then it'll brand um, the stage that you're going to be, um, the epic that you're going to be, uh, whatever the epic is. Um, if you want to look at just 
um, PLMs. You could just sort it by events and you know scroll up or down and say, oh, here's where the PLMs start. Um, you could also, yeah, uh, loud snoring. Um, so let's talk about the montage or the what's it called? The whatever it's called. Anyway. Um, layouts. Um, this is the baseline layout. Let me get rid of this. Um, this is the baseline layout. It has, um, here's what it has. Event, uh, show, hide. Um, if you want to know who the patient is, click on that. Tools. Aha. Uh -huh. Edit layout. So this is the baseline layout. And there's the different ones there. Uh, you can just, so if you wanted to change baseline, that's great. You can do that. Uh, first thing I would do is copy it and call it um, baseline two, whatever you want to call it. Call him Fred. Anyway, um, to name things, type that. Um, oops. And shucks. Good, I didn't change it. Um, if you want to get rid of things, hit remove. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Cancel. That always helps. Um, so if you wanted to see just, um, you know, just the um, certain channels, um, you could. Uh, a lot of them are already here for you, us, hopefully. There's the baseline. Here's the staging. Guess what? It looks really closely at the uh, you'll notice that you have to auto score every time you change um, channels. So there's the EMG, the uh, eyes, and the brain. Um, if you have a BiPAP study, I like to use BiPAP because you get a nice thing. You get the IPAP and the EPAP um, auto scale all. And so this person is not being papped yet. Uh, you can tell by the zeros here. And the flow signal is not picking up everything. But when she is papped, well, that's not very helpful. Go back to sleep. Oh, yay. So, um, goodness, how's my time? Um, see, see how the um, pap pressers are kind of weird? Auto center. And that should bring them to 1,000. It's just a crowded display. Um, You'll find your own favorites. Um, if you just want to look at the EKG, that's what that's for. Um, Pat from Baseline. I like this one. That's the one I made up because it just has what I want. Um, anyway, um, so that's how you kind of navigate around this interface. Um, so basically, you can you can do this any way you want to. Um, find lights out and scroll one at a time and you know that's pretty much it. I would just um, recommend on if you want to go specific epic that's how you do it just type it in there. Um, view, hypnogram, events, show hide signals. Let's see. Oh so if you wanted to like get it. Whoops it's time for me to go. Okay that's the um, limit. Okay um, you know what? I think that's kind of enough. Um, play with it yourself. And uh, if you need more um, or still have questions, please give me a call and or email me. Okay, cheers.